first time the idea of establishing something in Birmingham occurred to me in 1985. So we sat in my sitting room and we said, well, what should we name it? And at the same time, all three of us, we said Al-Mahdi Institute. So immediately we went and got the desks, the chairs, the furnitures, the whiteboards, and we kitted up the flat. Overnight, we had 25 students. Majority of them were reverts. And that was the birth of the Al-Mahdi Institute. And truly, Al-Mahdi Institute actually took off from this place. On the one side, there's a barber shop. On the other side, there's a grocery shop. And you would never imagine what was between the two. But as people walked up the stairs and they saw the Institute, they would be filled with wonder as to the beauty and the serenity of the place. The whole of life was centered in that family. And it really was a family because we did get a free meal every day. As the Hausa began to grow and formulate its own identity and its own path, so there were immense challenges in many different ways. There was simply no money. We lived by the day. I remember at Mosley Road, I had to let my staff go because there was nothing to pay them. And I would teach the students eight hours a day. I was the only teacher. We come to 2010 when we said we really do need to move into a bigger building. So we saw a building on Mosdi Road. It was very nice. Then Shazim saw this building, the current location of al Madi Institute. And he said, Arif, I'll show you a building. Of course, there were immense financial challenges, how we could undertake such a huge commitment. And of course, people were very, very skeptical. It's such a big building and what will you do? And even my team at that point my young team, they didn't know what will happen and they were lost and they were very comfortable at Mosley Road where they could manage everything. This is a vast building, an ending. From the time they moved here, you can see a big change in the quality of the service, the managerial achievements they have, thanks to many good people who were working here and you can't ignore their, you know, contribution. There is no comparison from a little room to what it is today. The caliber of the work that it is producing, the confidence that it has, the way it's leading the Shia world into a, a new phase. If Allah wills, the next five years will be the most progressive phase of the Almadi Institute. And I would like to think that in the same way that I ended up in the Institute, Every student, or for that matter, every staff, have a unique story behind them. And undoubtedly, that the hand of God is behind each and every person who begins or who decides to tread this path. The future of the Al Mahdi Institute is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where it always was and where, inshallah, it always will be. <laughs>